Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog here on Costa Crazy YouTube channel. Yeah, you can see I'm at Stansted Airport. It's currently half nine. I've got a flight in about an hour's time. I'm going over to Dublin for Thunderland. It actually ends this weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm going today to <laughs> go and check it out. It's an indoor, outdoor theme park stroke fun fair so looking forward to it there's a break dance and a few other rides and um yeah so i guess let's get on the uh let's get on the plane there won't be much footage from now until we actually get there i just wanted to get some cinematics on the plane and stuff like that i'm not doing a travel vlog or anything it cost me just over 30 pound return flight and um yeah really looking forward to it so uh let's go Right, so I'm in the airport. It's dead easy here when you come to Stansted. It's uh, just pull up outside, a drop off, not parked. I've got the missus to drop me off. So yeah, I'm just going over for the day. The fair is on till uh, 12 till 10 at night, but I think we're leaving a bit earlier because we flight back. So we'll be there for a, a good few hours at least, so. Yeah, I've already got my boarding pass sorted, that's on my phone. I'll just scan it over there behind me. Just could go through security now. So, I'll see you in a bit. Nice, easy and quick. Yeah, through security, no problems at all. I always make sure I've got like um, my little bag with liquids separately. Because I have vape. Um, I normally carry like a couple of little small cans of deodorants and stuff if I'm going for a day trip or away. And yeah, straight through. Dead easy, now into the <laughs> Stansted shopping centre. <laughs> you walk around this bit, I've said it many times before, like this airport, it's not my favourite airport. There's too much of this, like you've got to walk through all of this, past all the restaurants and everything. And then your gate's normally right at the back, so yeah, I mean my flight doesn't leave till 11 anyway, it's, it's, it's only 10 to 10 now, but it says the gate closes at half 10, so yeah, time to get a, a toilet, quick toilet break, get a, a drink or something, and uh, off we go, yeah, looking forward to it. Like I said, we're only there for a few hours, I'm meeting up with Paul, he's actually flying from Manchester, and um, I've ordered a new camera, it should be coming today. I was hoping to go to Argos last night and just go and pick it up. And I've got the action, DJI Action 4, and I got it copyrighted by AHA now, but I've also ordered the uh, DJI mic as well, the single mic. So, uh, yeah, happy days. So currently using the GoPro 9 still, which, um, yeah, if you watch the last one from uh, Kingdom of Winter, I said that I, uh, the wind muff fell off, so I've actually cut up a bit of foam and stuck it at the front, so hopefully the wind noise is all right for now. And then uh, I'll be switching to the Action 4. I'll give it a little test, I'll take it out and show you what it's like, and yeah, looking forward to using it. I hope it's okay. But yeah, I'll see you when I get to like near the gate and that. You don't want to see all of this. 
Right, so this section of here, you've got like Burger King, you've got a few other restaurants and like hundreds of people sat waiting. Um, gate's not shown yet, but I've just gone and changed some money. So I've changed 50 pound and I've got myself 40 euros. Uh, that's just in case I need any cash at all, but uh, most places are cashless. I've got a fan of the channel called Simon picking me up from the airport <laughs> as well. Me, he's picking me and Paul up and he's coming with us for the day. Never met him, but um, it's nice to meet the fans and yeah, it's, it should be a good day. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the break dance. There's a polyp, there's a log flume, there's four coasters. I've already got one, which is Heidi the coaster, but I've got th three coaster credits to get. Um, yeah, I might go and get myself a, a drink or something like that. I don't normally eat breakfast in the morning pretty much at all. I like a coffee, I've already had a Starbucks this morning. <laughs> I've tried, been trying that new biscotti almond flavoured one which is uh, quite nice. The toilet's there behind me so might go to the toilet. There's a place here to get some breakfast and stuff. Yeah, there's a Cafe Nero, a Leon. Yeah, you can't go hungry in here. Yeah, you can tell how cold it is. They are actually de-icing that plane over there. That's one of the uh, the Max 737 Maxes. It's a fairly newish plane. Even the captain up there, pilots taking pictures. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, so I'm in 11A and yeah, knowing that I'm a bit of an aviation enthusiast, um, I normally check the seat plans on the maps and stuff like that. I've booked the bloody non-window seat, have I? Well, I have, but there's no window there. The woman next to me is laughing at me. She's like, what an idiot. What would you book this seat for? Oh my God. Yeah, I think I'm on the other side when I fly back later this evening. I can't even get any footage out of the plane. I'm going to have to sort of lean backwards here and get a bit of footage that way, but yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> Going through that was so easy there was literally no one there at all through customs and immigrations or whatever you call it through the, the thing where you put your passport and it lets you through like the little gate no one there straight through it i'm here at arrivals already so yeah you just saw that clip then from the guinness stone house or store storehouse this this attraction here I don't like Guinness, so I'm not going there. <laughs> I can't stand it, I think it's disgusting. So that is not my thing at all. However, I do need the toilet, so yeah, I'll see you a second when I get out. But uh, yeah, I've got no way out. I've got, got a little rucksack with me, with my camera equipment and stuff in it. I don't need to wait for a suitcase. So yeah, that was so easy. I see the... Uh, the flight was just over 30, well in fact it was, I think it was about 14.99 to get here and then about 15.99 on the way back. And because I like to get a window seat, I pre-booked my seats, which I shouldn't have bothered doing because of, obviously you saw the footage. I didn't have a seat, I'd, well a window by my seat, so I had to sort of scooch behind me to get the footage out the window for you. But uh, yeah, I think on the way back, I'm, and uh, aisle 14 so a bit further back so i might be able to get a bit of footage however it will be dark when we set back home and so you won't see anything but yeah welcome to ireland
All right, so you come out the terminal just here or over there behind me. I've only ever been to Dublin once before and that's when we went to Tato Park, which is now called Emerald Park. And we will be coming, well, I will be coming later in the year because they're opening up two brand new Vacoma coasters. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, I can't really give you much information, tips and stuff about coming here other than what you've seen really. Like I said, it was a piece of cake just walking through there, probably the easiest terminal I've ever walked through. There was nothing, there was no security. There was just straight through the, the barriers and yeah, the weather's not great here and I'm rocking shorts. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, oh, all, all, all weather for me with shorts. But yeah, the bus stop is just there. You can just see the bus is there and the taxi rank is just down there looks like there's a car park just across the road as well so wait for Paul to get off the plane he should be here in a bit and wait for Simon to come and pick us up like I said I've never met this guy before he's sort of I've been with friends with him on Facebook for, for quite a while uh, seems to like a lot of me post comments on all my videos and uh, I will be giving another shout out later for someone who else gave me some tips for coming here and yeah the the I basically emailed the owner, uh, the guy that runs the place. I think Curry's got some machines here. I think they used to have a park up in Northern Ireland, which has changed to something else. Um, don't quote me on that though. I'll, I'll have to check the comment, uh, the, like the information and stuff later. But really looking forward to it. There's some good rides there. And uh, yeah, you'll see in a minute when we get there, but uh, just wait for Paul. On my lift to uh, Thunderland, yeah, really looking forward to it. Just hope the uh, weather improves a bit. He's probably seen my breath. It's like four degrees still, so uh, yeah, it looks like it's clearing up a bit. I suppose I'll uh, see you in a bit when we get on the move. Right, so we've just gone through the tunnel with um, Simon. Hello, hello. Our taxi driver. <laughs> oh, tower cranes. <laughs> hey, Paul. Oh. Paul's here now. We had to wait a bloody hour for him to come because he flew from Manchester. Ryanair. Ryanair. Oh, it is a toll, yeah. So we were thinking about getting an Uber. It was got to be about, four, did you about say about 40 euros? Something like that. Between, between 30 and 30, yeah. 45, I think it said. Uh, yeah, so this is Simon Wen Wembridge. Wembridge, yeah. fan yeah. of the channel. Fan of, oh, definitely, Andy, yeah. yeah. Very much Big so, yeah. fan of the Big channel. Fan, yeah. You're so on the telly now. You're on the, the telly, telly now. Yeah. My dream has come true already for uh, 2024. And he's wearing a <laughs> Tato Park Kukulan hoodie as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. not called. Have to res uh, support the local theme park. You yeah, know? so he's a local. Well, he's not a local lad because you're from Croydon. Yeah, originally from Croydon. Yeah. yeah. So I lived over here since 2007. So, uh, yeah, been it's over here a while now. Sorry, I just spotted the tower cranes oh, the biggest, oh there's more oh my god there's loads yeah you were just saying there's a lot of building work yeah. over at bloody oh, hell huge, there's, yeah, oh wow there's yeah. loads yeah over and over there as well so yeah the drive to Thunderland it's like the DRS uh, uh, RDS yeah. yeah the Simmons Court yeah yeah Simmons Court and it's about what half an hour drive or something yeah we should be there in about probably about 20 minutes yeah we'll be there happy days nice motor as well look at the uh the roof it's well cool so uh, yeah, I'll see you when we uh, get there. We'll probably get some more shots driving around Dublin. Right, so we're here. All right, Paul, we're here. Rammed, isn't it? Rammed. It's rammed. What's what's this here? What's what you got on? What you got on? Well, apart from your crumbs from your sandwich you just eaten, get your merch. No, don't bother. <laughs> no, buy it. No, no, I haven't sold anything. I've still You're I, supposed I, to be selling it. Mate. I know, but I've, I've still only sold 22 items since I started the merch last year. Get your hands in your pockets, buy some merch. Yeah, I've got I've got my t-shirt on. So uh, yeah, yeah. Big thank you to Simon. He's he's literally still in the car. He's just dropped us off here at the RDS. And it's top it, fella. Yeah, top fella. It's it's rammed. So we've got a queue to get up to get in. I think it's two euros to get in and then we have to go and see the owner, the event organiser, he said just come to the office and might sort us out something so uh, yeah happy days. Um, other than paying for the flights it's quite a, a cheapest sort of event, we've only got like four hours to get around the rides, um, yeah plenty of time, we've got to head back to the airport about six o'clock to get the flight back to Stansted but yeah it's uh, it's rammed. <laughs> you can already see the ferris wheel over there there's a log flume 
Irish day trippers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've been to Ireland before, haven't you? Years ago. Yeah, it's only my second time I've ever been to Ireland. I did mention in my Insta video at some point, I, I do want to come back over to, well, Northern Ireland. I, want, I really want to go to Belfast to visit the Titanic Museum. It's a massive bucket list thing that I'm a huge, I can't say fan it's of Titanic. It's not anymore, is it? It's sagged, well, isn't it? What? <laughs> the, what, the museum? I don't know. The, well, yeah. Titanic. You can't really say you're a fan of the Titanic, can you? It's, it's a disaster thing. But I'm fascinated more than anything. So we'll get in here, show you around. It's Some of it's outdoors, some of it's indoors. You've got Hyde of the Coaster here, which we've both done before. And you've got like a caterpillar coaster. I think there's two caterpillar coasters, isn't there? Yeah, two that. caterpillar coasters and what's the other thing? Is it a runaway train? There's, there's three. It's, it's got it on the... Got it on the... What have you, what, what have you got? Coaster count. So there's a family roller coaster. Heidi. Runaway oh train. yeah, runaway train and then a caterpillar. Which is yeah, it's two. It's, to yeah, two caterpillars basically. Yeah, so it's a two euro admission to get in. Um, ten shot vouchers, thirty euros. So you can get ten rides for thirty euros. So if you've got a, um, a currency converter, you want to check that out. I'll probably put it in the bottom of the screen anyway, to show you how much it is in pounds. But it's not that much for for what you get for ten rides. Family channel. <laughs> oh, is that Paul? Family channel. Family channel. Aye, father Ted's in it. Right, we're in. Um, yeah. So the 30 year old just worked out. It's just over 25 pound for 10 rides, which I think is great. Already, you got the log flame behind us. You can see the rides aren't that busy already. There's not massive queues for anything. Huge queue to get in and yeah there's a caterpillar coaster there there's the cred um we've got we've got heidi down here you got this beautiful swing just there that's that's really nice is that chair swing food and stuff down here yeah we've, we've got to have to leave at about six o'clock it's oh my god we've only got like three hours it's like uh, 10 to 3, well, I should have got here for opening, but it did say on the website when I booked the flight um, 2 till 9, but they changed it till 12 till 10, so it's over till 10 o'clock tonight. So then, yeah, so basically there's this outdoor section here, and then there's the indoor section there. Food stalls. Yeah, it looks all right here. I can't believe we've come all the way just for a yeah Irish my first ever Irish funfair. So you followed the channel for a while, you know I've been all over Europe visiting funfairs all over the place. And won't be doing that. Cast. I'm not that keen on them confolding groups. There's a queue to get inside. Oh, that's the online thing. I see. All right. So Simon's here. He just went and parked the car for, and then dropped us off. I get pictures and stuff as well, in a bit. Yeah, I've already done, we'll do it while we're here, but. Yeah, Heidi, Heidi coaster with the world's fastest lift, chain lift on it. Well, I don't think it is, but it, it's pretty quick. Yeah. I was just saying about getting a new camera as well. I've just had to pull the battery out of the GoPro because it wouldn't even turn off. It's just little things like that that really annoy me about this camera. Like, I can't even turn it off, so I've got to pull the, I've got to take it all apart because it's in the media mod to then pull the battery out to turn it off. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that, that my new DJI Action 4 is really good. It's loud in here. Wow. Oh, we need to find. Oh, it's, it, did he say left or right? Oh, that's a guy there. Whoa, man. That's loud. Yeah, awesome. Right, so we've just been in the office and they've just handed us this letter. Can you want to open it up, Paul? Got He's already shown us what it comes. It's like a disc. It's got yeah, a 50 pound note in it. Is it? I'm taking it. Oh, it's got food vouchers in it. All oh, right, it's just a load of uh, little tickets. So yeah, is that that's not what you've got, no, is that's, it? That's oh right, yeah. yeah, so different. So so we've got 
each car's got four free rides and four free half price. Uh, four half price. Oh, happy days. So we've got four games. Plenty. Well, there's enough. There's 23 rides there. 23 rides and a break dance. Right, let's go. <laughs> so a massive thank you to the organizer, Don Bird, for sorting us out. Yeah, it's run by the the sons of the actual owner. And next year, uh, well, I'll say next year, the end the end of this year when it's back on again in the winter, it's been here for 50 years. So yeah, one of the longest running sort of fun fairs of its type I guess I don't really know you got an extreme oh there it is I could see it you got an extreme here as well it's so loud in here is it it's not actually that busy in here to be honest well you can see there's no big big queue lines for the rides yeah come for the break dance pretty sure it's owned by a, a Dutch showman I hope you can hear me okay. It's so loud in here. And there's a, a polyp as well over there from Europe. I say from Europe, we're in Europe. I've never done a fun fur indoors. Have you not? The thing about the I UK, did one last week. There's not enough indoors. It's ridiculous, isn't it? We need we need more indoor stuff just like this. It's wow, it's amazing. It's not the biggest fair in the world, far from it. There's another caterpillar just here. Yeah, straight on here, look, there's, there's no queue. Yeah, so you got a caterpillar here. You got the uh, polyp over there, wow. Opposite each other. No, we're not getting the same car, Paul. Opposite. Yeah, opposite. opposite. Right, so, yeah, we've got like loads of rides on them free tokens. Yeah, well buzzing, mate. I've just got to spend all day on this now. <laughs> yeah, proper horse breakdance. You've never done this model, have you? No. I think it's a breakdance three. The best one I I've think. done is when we went to South Wales last year. Yeah, yeah, that's been sold and went to bloody th this Saudi one, Arabia. Got some kick to it. Oh, yeah, he yeah. yeah, went to. It's gone to Saudi. He's, you said he Do you know we rode it in uh, in that in that um, in that park? Fourth call, he left the week after we rode it. Because he said, was he not trying to get in a week? I don't know, I don't, yeah, well we don't, yeah. Yeah, I think we're ready to go, I think. Yeah, I don't know how much individual rides are or anything like that. It's the last day tomorrow. There's another YouTube channel here as well. Hey! Theme Park Madness. Just give him a shout out, he's never looking. He's on the telly now. <laughs> I'll get him on in a minute. I've never met him before. Here we go, we're ready. Send it! Send it! Ready like a bad boy. Oh man! Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Never done a break dance indoors before. It's a bit snug as well, but yeah, you're not getting out of this. Wonder if they'll out standing up. Here we go. One, send it! Ride it like a bad boy! Here we go! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh my god! Woo! Oh man! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh, this is awesome! Amazing! Whoa, yeah! Woohoo! Oh, God! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, man! Oh, this is incredible! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Ha ha ha! 
oh, I don't know what the cycles are like. Oh, I could sit on this all day, it's amazing. Woo! Oh, I want more. Where's Paul? More! One more time! Oh, God! Oh, this was well worth the 30 quid flight from Sandstead. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! package on it as well oh I think that's it oh that was awesome oh what an incredible ride that was that was awesome wow shameless cred time yeah send it This is my second indoor caterpillar in a week. Did one last weekend. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. I've done that at uh, Hull. Say what, you're only just getting these right in. Look at them clear as well. It's a good caterpillar this, really smooth, and there's loads of room. Yeah. Right, so you just see we've just done the caterpillar. Uh, William Bird, I think he was called. Do you want a breakdown from you? I tell you what, how good was that? Insane! One of the really best good. I've ever been on. Really good. Amazing that, wasn't it? I, mean, I, I nearly lost my shoulder at one point. I think you say game over. Yeah, you can't, it's unfortunate that. Yeah, you can't do I, that more did, than once. Even in two, 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 two rides in a row, yeah. yeah. yeah Not a game. chance, yeah. It was amazing, was that? Caterpillar was very good. Just met Derek, he's over there. <laughs> the guy that's... Um, he skills the information. He don't want to be on the telly though. It's alright, I'm not filming you. Yeah. yeah, if you're going down to the takeout. Yeah. That's that's from the birds as well. Oh birds as well. Yeah, good up really now, George. Yeah. He's up he operates that. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, we'll do the takeoff as well. Cheers Derek, thank you so much. He's the guy who's running the, the caterpillar. He's the guy that sent me the email for the owner. Yeah, William Bird, they're about to send a polyp. Yeah, these are amazing. I really need a wee, but we really haven't got that much time here. I said, we've got to leave at six o'clock to go back to the airport. I'm gutted that I didn't get here sooner. Definitely 100% already coming here again next year. That break dance was incredible. I love a good polyp. I've done a few of these in Belgium, Germany, Netherlands, yeah. You just don't get rides like this in the UK, unfortunately. Such a shame. This fair's better than most UK fairs I've done already, isn't it? Remember the black one No, I'm not as old as you, Paul. Alright, time to send it on the polyp. Yeah, I've done loads of these. These are brilliant, these. Wow, fast already. Paul and Simon are over there. Yeah, another reason to get a new camera. I had to change my battery already. Good job I got four of them in it. Absolutely stunning ride. Wow, this is brilliant. This. Woo! Yeah, 100% coming again next year. Woo! Oh yeah, it's an airtime machine. Oh, that food 
over there smells amazing. Magic kebabs. You got crane machines here. What an awesome fair this is. Best fair of the year I've done already. <laughs> that, that, that's if you don't count the uh, oh, Kingdom of Winter I did. And the XL. Hope you enjoyed the vlog by the way. That was really good, was that? Really enjoyed it there. So Excite is also here, that's from the UK. There's a lot of European rides here. I've done Excite before at a whole fair a few years ago. That's some kind of gravity wheel, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not that keen on them. Yeah, you got a sticky wall just here as well. Yeah, Excite, and then I just turned the camera off as it lowered down. Uh, it looks so close to the ceiling. Yeah, the pollock was awesome. Not a massive cycle on it, but uh, yeah, good enough though. Uh, you got a takeoff just behind there. Oh, it looks so good in here. It's amazing, eh, Paul? Yeah, well done. Yeah. More indoor attractions in the UK, Devious. Yeah, but it's got to be quite quick for us now. We've got to, got to leg it around. you got a beautiful sea storm there. I think that's made by Mac. I could be wrong. Yeah, you got the gravity wall, the sticky wall. There's another cred, a little runaway train. Yeah, it's amazing in here. Apparently, Simon, you were saying it's uh, it was used for horse, like yeah, a horse quite, exhibition. Yeah, the annual uh, horse show in Dublin uh, is held here, an, ex an exhibition centre. So you know, lots of events happen here year round. So, uh, but this obviously is an annual event for Ireland. You know, for the last 50 years nearly. Wow, now, you know? amazing! Yeah, yeah, 50 years. I could sort of tell when I watched PT Vlogs video. Go and watch his channel if you haven't seen it, PT Vlogs. He came here a couple of weeks ago uh, with Theo, his young lad, and they uh, ra rode it like a bad boy, didn't they? Theo the Fearless. Yeah, it, and, and just watching that video, I'm, uh, I've got to get myself here, I don't care. I went on Ryanair website or even Skyscanner, and it was like, like I said, like it, it's 32 pound for a return flight if you don't pick your own seat. Um, yeah, I've just brought a bag, in fact, because Simon's brought us here from the airport, I've left, I've left my bag in his car, so, yeah, because I was a bit worried about walking around in here with a bag, which I haven't got that issue now. Right, toilets are just here, we've got to get the credits done, the runaway train and the caterpillar, and we've got some more rides. Shameful creds, what runaway train. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Oh, I got to turn my camera off. Oh my god, I got covered in that. Oh, Official snow, my glasses are caked in it and come, come to Dublin where it snows indoors. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we don't get any in the UK, do we? <laughs> Look at the queue for Heidi now. Right, we're going to do the other cred, the other caterpillar, and then we'll do some more of the bigger rides. It's really good here. We're having a great time, although, like I said. Don't keep looking at you. I know. We've, we've, we've got just over two hours left. Plenty yeah, plenty of time to get everything we want to do. Obviously, I'm not doing the KMG speed over there. I'm not doing the confolding group extreme. We might not. I'm, I'd like to do the Ferris wheel just here. So there's a few things we won't do. There's a frog bounce in there. You just saw at the start of this clear. I'm not bothered about those. Uh, I've done my fair share of uh, frogs in the UK. You know, I've been on some of the best. 
uh, including Martin Draper. So yeah. Yeah, the confolding group extreme there, nah, they're, they're not for me. I've mentioned it many times before. I've done one, came off feeling sick as anything, so I won't do another one. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good fair. It really is. I mean, so so we've met the guy that was on the roll on the caterpillar indoors. He said. This December, obviously, at the end of the year, it's, it's going to be the 50th anniversary and they've got to make it a lot bigger than what it is. So, yeah, it'd be definitely worth coming back next year. They've also got a paratrooper there as well. There's fish and chips and food stands everywhere. Yeah, really, really good here. I can't believe the amount of tower cranes that we drove past. The, the amount of building work here in Dublin's insane for a... A city that's probably no much bigger than Manchester. It's, uh, it looks really good, the old paratrooper. Again, we'll go on the more ex unusual stuff, get the credits in. Big line for the booster. We've got the chair swing just here as well. Caterpillar and the log flume. Yeah, it's really good fare, loads here. <laughs> Right, send it on the Santa coaster. Yeah, he's let us ride it without the stupid lap bars down. <laughs> so this has come from Port. Uh, what was it called? Curry's in Port Rush. Um, they're, they're they're getting a brand new coaster this year. So, but yeah, here's the car park down here. All the wagons parked. Oh, look at that, Barry Proctor. Yeah, we're not doing the log flume. <laughs> There's not even any people going on it. It's a walk on. So what I said to you when I was at Kingdom of Winter about these Santa trains, you just you can hardly you can hardly fit in them. I mean I know they are designed for kids. I love it. <laughs> it's riding it like a bad boy. Kid behind me. <laughs> oh bless him. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh my god, yeah, there was that doorway there, and there's a queue where we queued in down here. But like I said it's open till 10 o'clock tonight. I was hoping to see some tower cranes from here. Yeah, that's from uh, Curry's as well, so they must travel them during the winter and then put them back in Curry's Fun Park. Right, there you go, uh, the three coasters here that I needed, done. Because there's four here, I've already done Heidi the coaster, so yeah, completed it mate. <laughs> well, not apart from the, all the other rides. Yeah, just been speaking to the lad running the, the Caterpillar or the Santa Express there. That does travel, that normally goes back to Curry's amusement park in Northern Ireland. Um, and the log flumes from Curry's as well, but he doesn't know where that's going. Now I really want to get on it because I've been on a lot of log flumes and I've pretty much done every one of those Rivershon log flumes in the in the UK. Um, so it would have been nice to get on that since it was from Northern, Northern Ireland. Uh, it's just too cold for a log flume. <laughs> I don't want to get soaking well. I so said we've got to go back to the airport in a couple of hours. So... Hello, you all right? <laughs> She's on the telly in Ireland. Yeah, so, yeah, Paul, a bit gutted about the log flumes. It's a bit too cold for oh, log no, flumes now. No, yeah. mate, we've not got a it's, it's January, mate, it's Dublin. Yeah. It's one degree, no. Is it? Randy, you got your shorts It's five on. degrees, you come got, on. You got your shorts So? On, you know? <laughs> You're kitted out for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just get a towel and wipe my legs down, I'll be right, I what? Did, I, I did chap ass at... Uh, yeah, all right, yeah, we're all... We're, yeah, we know that you went over to Europe at Christmas. And I, and I didn't get too wet. So no, you don't days. really, I don't know. But yeah, good, another good little coaster, that. Really smooth. I don't know. I, I need to look on RCD, but you're not bothered about that when you're watching these vlogs. I, I think sometimes I give too much information that's not relevant. And I need to that's start... A proper old... Um, it is a paratrooper, paratrooper yeah. Isn't it? But these, these girls are wanting to be in the vlogs. 
We've got the Ferris wheel there. I think we'll go back inside. Oh no, Heidi. We'll queue up and do Heidi while we're here. And then you've got the Ferris wheel just there as well. Well, yeah, really good fair. Really enjoying it. Great atmosphere. Everyone's nice and friendly. Yeah, really recommend coming next year, that's for sure. What's up? I don't know, but it says Hoppins on the ticket, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, Heidi the coaster. Yeah, this thing's amazing. Even has onboard audio, but it's, it's a bit temperamental, so I don't know if it's still working or not. Send it. Send it. Send it like a man, mate. Get ready for this lift hill. Yeah, I'm, I'm right on the end. Thanks, Paul. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, no on board audio. Uh, apparently, one of the trailers set fire and uh, they lost a lot of the cars. He's just been telling me. I was saying to Simon, it's got on board audio. But there isn't. Oh, here we go. There's a massive queue of people waiting to get in here. Oh, God. Here we go. Start spinning now. Oh, here no. Go. Hey, hey. Spinning on the overbank. We've got to catch a corner just right. Yeah! Oh! Woohoo! Ah! Oh! like a bad boy! Oh, Simon's not feeling it. Oh! 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 We got the other way. Oh! oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! This is... Oh! This is Paul's idea. Oh! Oh, oh it's all right. We're nearly there, mate. Oh! We're nearly there. Oh, there you go. There you go, yeah, individual lap bars in here, but yeah, it did have onboard audio at one point. Some of the cars still have the speakers. But yeah, there's a massive line of people waiting to get in here now. Oh, what an awesome ride that is though. Oh, yeah, he's, he's been sick. Oh, yeah. That's Paul's fault. I wish I'd have filmed that. Andy didn't get off the ride in time. I thought he was staying on for another go. He kept going. I thought he was going to stop. And my balance isn't great anyway. So, um, yeah, I just I was like going along like that sideways until he stopped. And I was on the other side of the station. Simon's just been sick in a bin. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah, yeah. I Ooh. thought your name was Simon. I not, think that was not... Andy, Andy's fault, you just spun it a bit too what? much. What? No, they played him! He said, oh yeah, I'll get on one side. On board, uh, oh, for... not Bill Ewey. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, <laughs> on ride photos as well, yeah. Sad news, I, I, uh, the guy that's running it up there is obviously a part of the team that own it and run it. And yeah, he said that one of the trailers set fire. You probably heard me on the ride. But one of the trailers set fire and damaged a lot of the cars. I mean, obviously it's a revision spinning mouse. They run a lot of cars. So, um, very sad. Yeah, they have obviously had to get some new cars built. Um, but yeah, awesome ride, really good spinning if you get the weight right on it. The lift hill's great, really fast, the overbank as well. But yeah, really good spinning coaster, probably one of the best of its type anywhere in the world. Awesome, that. Right, so we're back inside. It's getting really busy now. Uh, we've got enough, did you say four rides left or three rides yeah. left? Four. We've got four rides each left. So, yeah, I mean, give us the equivalent of a, a 10 shot toker. Look at that. Oh, look at this. So you've got exciter in here and you've got takeoff as well. Look how close it is to the ceiling up there. And you got takeoff over here as well. These, yeah. Yeah, we've got to do that. I've never done one of them. Yeah, they're all right. It doesn't, obviously it doesn't go as high as it should do because it's indoors. Look at this. Yeah, I've done this before at Hull Fair. Wow. 
What a beautiful ride this is, yeah. Beautiful back flash on it. Oh, the lighting package on this thing. Absolutely amazing. I think I think he's about to send it. It's so loud inside. Yeah, yeah, we're locked in now. It's so loud in here. Absolutely brilliant fare. So, yeah, if you live in the UK and you've seen this, I can't recommend this place enough. It's brilliant. Right, so we've only been here a couple of hours. We've got an hour and a half to go. Let's send it. Running like a bad boy. Running like a bad boy. And then now it goes so like flat. Yeah, it's a bit like um, it's a cross between an Enterprise and a Super Trooper. Here we go again. Oh, my feet! Yeah, my feet are tingling now. G-Force is insane! Oh man, me that's it! That game over! Well, for the ride, not for me. I'm alright. Oh, my feet are my feet are really tingling. Are yours? Oh my god! That is so... What a powerful ride, yeah! It's so intense, is that? Brilliant! Please exit to the right hand side. You can't come to Ireland and not get yourself well. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Bag of potato crisps. Yeah, anyone that went to Tato Park, that's not that far away from here. Uh, that's now called Emerald Park. I mentioned it earlier in the vlog. We're going there later in the year where they open up the two brand new coasters. But yeah, they basically just taste like Walker's crisps, like you get in the back in the UK. Got a hazelnut latte as well. Thinking about getting some food, but uh, I'm, I'm all right for now, <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm going to have my potato crisps and my coffee. Simon's just getting some food there from the noodle place there behind me. But this place is amazing. The atmosphere is great. The people that are here is no problem at all, no trouble. Really good rides. Yeah, loving it. It's really, really good. Take off! Rambo! Oh, that black flash is awesome! Yeah, C3PO there, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, so it out, most of the rides are 4 euros, which is about £3.44. This thing's going in the bin when I get home. <laughs> Not the ride, the GoPro. That was awesome, was that? I am going to come off a flat ride one day and just go, Poof. I know I am. I did in Germany. I went flying on my ass like this coming off and, the, and, the, and it was all wet because it had been raining and I went flying. 
and hit the deck. <laughs> that was awesome. Problem is, very short ride cycles now. Uh, someone's been sick. Right, hopefully we're back on and I don't get another SD card reader error. Uh, yeah, like I said, when I get home, this GoPro's going in the bin. I would sell it second hand, but I don't want anyone to have it. It's not worth it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think you can still buy the GoPro Hero 9 on eBay for about 150 quid. But I've got like four batteries, I've got loads of accessories, the medium mod, the max lens mod. I've spent so much money on accessories over the years. And hopefully this new DJI Action 4 that I've ordered is good. Because I'll be gutted if it isn't. And like Paul said, I've had this camera over three years and it's done well. GoPros are not really meant for vlogging, so it's, it's done all right. Yeah, that last ride takeoff, I don't know if the last clip's still in the vlog. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, that, that takeoff was awesome. Yeah, yeah he's on it. Know. Yeah. I know English. Huh? I know English. España. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got a waltzer over here as well, so we'll do the waltzer, we'll do the break dance again, that thing's an amazing ride. And then I think we'll make a move. It's like quarter past five now. We do the waltzer, uh... Paul, waltzer. Do that, I draw, do the sea stop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I've done, I've not done that waltzer before. I'll do the waltzer then. Waltzer cred. Yeah, no idea who owns it, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below if you know. There's a Dodgems here as well. There's so many rides here. Yeah, what a great fair. Absolutely amazing. Right, time to send it on the waltzer. I think it's a fake, I've no idea. No, it is PT Vlogs. PT It's an old machine anyway. Yeah, I think it is a fair trade. Could be a good one. Here we go, let's go! Ready to come up there. Woohoo! Big queue of people, yeah. Awesome, that. Right, yeah, another short cycle. We had a short cycle in the takeoff before. And like I said, I don't know if it's in the vlog or not, if it, you know, if it cut it out or not. Really good waltz at DRM, did he say? DRM, yeah. Yeah, just come over and give us tokens for another ride, for a free ride, but I think one more and we'll, uh, we'll, and, we'll and, do one. Andy Bales. No. It's really warm with a coat on, it sort of gets to you a bit. So a really good waltz of that. Not the longest cycle, not the fastest of spinning, but really, really pretty. Look at it, it's stunning that. Yeah, break dance again. Yeah, poor Simon's not been on anything. Oh, he's been on a couple of rides. Oh, God. Simon was here. 
sick it like a bad boy. I've not seen so much, that much sick in fun fairs before. There's like piles of it. Oh, there's two, uh, there's two piles of sick on the floor there. Yeah, Paul's big idea. Dodgems. Got a break dance sat there. Come on. <laughs> Turn that wheel. There's too many cars when people don't know how to use them. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Oh. Yeah, I like the fact you can stand on the edge and watch. No, head on bumping. No way. Oh my god. It's not turning. Oh yeah. Slide. Ah. There's no one over here. Look. <laughs> One way round the track only, no head on bumping. Oh, now they tell us. Oh my god, bye. Nah, there's way too many. Wait, go away. I can't go anywhere. I stop. There's a wheel! Hopeless. Yeah, it's been awesome here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh! Ah! Follow me on Facebook as well, Coaster Crazy. On Instagram, Coaster Crazy Andy. <laughs> Go away! Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I never said anything like it. Oh, look at all the cars all in one area. <laughs> walk between the cars just to get off yeah not a long cycle on there at all very short cycle uh, ice jet and then break dance. yeah ice jet and then break dance we've got 20 minutes left as if the queues are that too big i don't know i've loved it here it's brilliant i just wish we'd either got here earlier or book a hotel and then come back again tomorrow's another pile of sick down here my god yeah there's a lot of extreme rides in here a lot of young children families really good atmosphere yeah i've got ice chair i've not even shown you this it's not the one from it's not the one from the uk uh, that travels around in england i don't know who owns this one yeah most rides are all four euros so like i said about £3.60. So because we've used all our free rides now, this is going to cost us four euros for two of us. Oh, is it? Because we've got half price. Oh, I've got half price on the ticket as well. Yeah, awesome. Ice chair. I've done quite a few of these Matterhorn style rides. Look at that pollock, though. It's absolutely stunning, that power wave. Yeah, love to hear. Again, with it being in indoors, all the lights are reflecting off the building and everything. Absolutely awesome. We need more of these in the UK, definitely. Right, here we go on Ice Jet. I love this indoor section here. Really good. I've no idea who owns this or where it's come from. It looks European. There's Paul trying to swing it like a bad boy. <laughs> He's got told off. <laughs> yeah, don't swing it.
was a good ride, but not a great cycle. I'm not even joking, we're probably on there less than a minute. It was so short. It basically, you saw it. I turned the camera off and then like 20 seconds later, we ended up stopping. That pullet back there is absolutely stunning, especially inside here. Last ride now, break dance. Oh, uh, you coming on? Nah, uh, uh, uh. No, he'll, he'll throw up everywhere. Massive thank you to uh, Simon anyway for the lift. Really appreciated it. Well, yeah, there's a queue for this now. Finale, what well, last finale ride on breakdown? Have you had a good time, Paul? Brilliant, really good. What Super. did you think to Ice Shirt? He was all right. The, one, the UK one. Who was the UK one? Uh, Reeves. Yeah, Reeves is a good one. Yeah. He got the back Terrence. Terrence, Terrence Reeves. Reeves. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We didn't even get back with Saga. You saw it. He, he, he got going and then he just stopped. Not great. Uh, but it is very busy in here. I think Paul PT Bugs said the same thing, didn't he? He said when they got here, they were getting mega cycles. And then towards the end of the night, it was like you're getting minute a minute cycle you're and everything. Think, we're not going to get the same. No, cycle. we're not. No, no. Last ride. Um, we've got to pay for this one as well. Half price. Half price. So uh, two euro each. If it's half price, you go twice. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. Break dance. now so uh, yeah one last go ride it like a bad boy So it starts in December 2024. It's the 50th anniversary, which means there'll be a hell of a lot of more rides here, more atmosphere, just more of everything. So I've just said to Simon, make sure he hires a minibus for next year because I'll be bringing a, a ton of people with me next year. We've absolutely loved it here. It's been absolutely awesome. I'll wrap it up outside. Right, there you go, sadly. That's it for us. I've, we've, uh, well, uh, Paul, could, in theory, could stay probably another hour until he needs to be back at the airport. But my flight leaves in 
just over two hours, uh, quarter to nine, I think. It, was it, tw I can't remember, yeah, Simon. Quarter to nine. Quarter, quarter to nine, nine yeah. my flight. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just gone six o'clock now, so we're about a 30, 40 minute drive to the airport. Five to nine. Yours is five to nine? No, yours, yours is five to nine. Oh, is it? Yeah. Five to nine. So, it gives us, yeah, it still gives us three hours. Oh, my camera's arrived. Yay! Yeah, my miss Lisa, she's messaged me, my camera's arrived. Right, she's picking me up from Stansted. Right, I just want to say a massive thank you. I, I actually wanted to go in, but I'll email him anyway. I wanted to go and see the organiser to say a big thank you for the complimentary tickets. Paul has paid for a couple of other rides, extra rides. Only half price. Only half price. Uh, we've had coffees and stuff here as well. Um, it's been amazing. It's one of the one of the best fun fairs in Europe that I've done. Of this scale and of this type anyway. I've loved it, it's been amazing. That breakdance is incredible. Definitely the, the highlight ride here. Now walking into a dark car park, which isn't great vlogging with a GoPro. But it's uh, stunning, like the wheel, we didn't do the wheel, we didn't do the booster, the paratrooper, there's so many rides here. Definitely 100% be back here next year. It's been awesome. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time we upload another video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Paul, have you enjoyed it before we walk out of the light? Fantastic. Get yourselves a doubly next next winter. And Simon, thank you for no, picking us right. up. No it's been, in... been a pleasure to finally yeah. meet you after all these years of watching your vids. Oh, yeah, awesome, yeah. yeah. The lighting's not great. Oh my God, it's pathetic, isn't it? Please, action fall be better than this crappy GoPro. Anyway, it, get yourselves here next year i'm so glad we've made it we've got to go now i could stay another two hours or even stay overnight and come tomorrow but we didn't we didn't i didn't want to spend the extra 100 pound on a hotel it's been awesome i'll see you in the next one bye for now